folks. This is Bev from our Half Acre Homestead. I'm about to attempt to make butter from goat's cream. Now the reason I say attempt is because the last time I tried to do this, it didn't work. So, I have chilled the bowl, I have chilled the beaters, and I have chilled the milk, or the cream. Let's see what happens. Now I hope you can see there is buttermilk and uh, the butter is starting to separate. I'm just going to mix it a little bit longer and then we're going to drain off the buttermilk and we're going to um, wash and salt the butter. Now I just want to point out that cow's cream will make the butter yellow. It seems that goat's cream will make the butter tan. Look at that. You can, as you can see, we have butter floating in buttermilk. Okay, I'm just going to drain this off. I want to do this quickly uh, and wash it quickly in ice water because this stuff is a lot more light than uh, cow's butter. And uh, we'll be back. All right, I'm just draining off the buttermilk. I'm using one of my milk strainers. And this is literally buttermilk. So I'm going to save this for my uh, starting of cheese. I want to get as much of this out as possible because, oh, we don't want that. And now I'm going to rinse this with ice water. Now, when I was a little girl, oh, I'd say about seven years old, my Aunt Jane and Uncle Reg had a barn raising. And they had corn on the cob and a big buffet. And I remember my aunt making butter, or at least washing butter, because she ran out. Now, there's still a little bit of buttermilk here, so we're just going to pour that out. See this lovely ball of butter? We're going to wash it with ice water. We do that by pouring cold water because we don't want the butter to melt. So, and how you wash the butter is you just keep working this with cold, cold water until the water runs clear which it's not at the moment running clear, it's running pretty cloudy. So then we add a little bit of more ice water. And then we just keep working the butter. We just keep working it, see the water still cloudy. Because we don't want, you know, your butter to be runny. We don't want little bits of... And also, if you don't get all the milk out of the butter, all the... Um, all the buttermilk out of the butter, your butter can go rancid. So, despite the salt. Now that I've shown you how to wash the butter old school, I'm going to show you new school. Because I was just sitting here thinking, gee, I wonder if the electric mixer will work. It does! As long as your water it's ice, 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 ice cold. Because the whole idea is to push the water through the butter. And wash the buttermilk out. And I have a dog. Well, I have several dogs, but I have one dog right now who's just sitting on the floor. And it's, see how it's getting clearer? Well, I guess you can't see that. The water is getting much clearer. I'm doing this to keep the ice from going in. Oh, you 
you guys have no idea how pleased I am. And this water is, I don't know if you can see that, but this water is almost clear. So we're almost there. All right, I'm going to drain this and the water is clear. I'm going to drain this last little bit of water off. And I'm going to let it, that sit for a minute. Whoops, I almost dropped it in the water. And then we're going to add the salt. Okay, we are back. Now, I have never made butter before. And I don't know how much salt's going in. So I'm going to just put in about a teaspoon because this is almost a pound of butter. Uh, if this one liter jar had been full, it probably would have been a full pound. But I'm going to start off with, say... Let's try just a half a teaspoon of butter. Let's just try that. And I am using sea salt. And I'm just going to do it new school with the beef. I don't like a lot of salt. When I buy butter at the store, I usually buy half salt. Let's try this. Mmm, just a, just a little bit more. There we go. Maybe an eighth of a teaspoon. Of butter. And we'll do that because we don't want to lose one little bit of this butter. Now we're going to put it in the bowl. i got my handy dandy spatula. Now I don't have a butter mold like days of old, but my brother is a wood carver. So maybe he could make me a nice butter mold. I don't know. Maybe I'll ask him. There it is, folks. Homestead goat cream butter. And if I get my, if I have anything to say about it, we will never eat store-bought again. This is Beth from our Half Acre Homestead saying, if you can make it yourself, awesome. <laughs>